Very interesting, Tracy. I got something interesting for you, too. The state championships, baseball, softball, lacrosse. We start in lacrosse, the Class A boys matchup, a classic. Falmouth and Thornton Academy going at it. Pick up the action, back and forth game. Wyatt LeBlanc barreling through defenders. Oh, ducks under one, misses the check, and then buries the goal. We have an 8-8 game in the third. On to the fourth, Nick Farnham of Falmouth goes up top. Sweet goal, Falmouth up 11-9. Here comes Thornton, the big man. Jack Webb, the crease attack from downtown. His team down 11-10. Huge play right here. Cam Hood, the captain with the long stick, fights off a player, a hustle play, and then golfs it ahead to Webb, who catches it and hits CJ Lebrecht for the game tying goal. Worked knotted at 11. Then off the restart, Noah Edborg, heads up play, finds a cutting Lebrecht, 12 11 TA. Then Lebrecht, some insurance. TA with four unanswered goals late in the fourth. They take the Class A championship 14 12. Golden Trojans, first ever lax title and complete the unbeaten season. Class B boys titled first. First one of the day, Brunswick and Greeley championship level stare down between Colin McKinnon of Brunswick and Skylar Wetmore of Greeley. Brunswick in its fifth championship game in a row. Greeley, meanwhile, got Tim Coyle back from injury and he started the scoring. We have a 1 1 game. End of the first, Nate Girard into Jack McDermott with eight tenths of a second left, and all of a sudden, Dragons pulling away. They're up 7 3. The bench, they like it. Greeley hanging around, more than hanging around, looking for a championship. Devin O'Keefe to Andrew Lawrence. Aiden Glover had a monster game. He goes to work. He had five goals. Max Grammons, the OT winner in the Final Four win over Yarmouth. A sweet goal here. He would score the game winner in overtime as Brunswick repeats as state champs. 14-13 in overtime. Second year in a row they won the state championship in overtime. Cape and Yarmouth in the B Girls Championship game. Cape led 7 3 at the break and they add to it. Emily Healy, remember that name, with a goal. It's 8 4. Then Carly Chapin. Chapin, she had two goals. Yarmouth puts together a comeback, though. Eva Tain, her 100th career goal, and her team down one. A few minutes later, Meredith Lane the goal, and Yarmouth is up 11-10 with 3.30 to play. Under a minute left, Healy on the free position, sends it to overtime with her fourth of the game. On to overtime in transition. It's Healy again with her fifth. It's the golden goal. Cape wins at 12-11 in OT. Their first championship as a sanctioned MPA lacrosse sport. Falmouth. In the title game for the second time in school history, taking on Massabesic, the defending champ in Class A. Good start for Falmouth. Kayla Sarazen gives the Yachtsman a 2-1 lead. Then Eva Clement with a nice dish to Chelsea Smithwick, and Falmouth up 3-1 on the defending champs. Second half off the free position, Sarazen again going to work. Falmouth, which lost to Massabesic in the regular season, up 9-4. Then Maddie Drain, a great individual effort for Massabesic off the ground ball, ground ball, stuffs it home. They would draw within 9-7, but Falmouth can Controlled possession. Clement, another assist to Caitlin Camaleo. 10 to 7, Falmouth wins. They get their first ever girls lacrosse state championship. On the diamond, Bangor looking to keep its baseball dynasty going as they hosted Gorham in the Class A championship game. Rather, they traveled to face Gorham in the Class A championship game. Battle of the Rams down in. St. Joe's at Standish. Noah Misbrenner, the RBI single, scores Tower Park. Bangor up 1-0. This is a wild first inning. Then James Neal, the two-run single. Bangor up 5-0 in the top of the first. But Gorham would come back. Bases loaded. Nolan Brown, bases unloaded. Clears him with the triple. Gorham down 5-3. Brown comes in to score on the RBI ground out. Gorham down 5-4 after one inning. Let's fast forward to the third inning. Trevor Gray, the bunt, throw gets away, and Brown comes in to score. And Gorham looking to end that title run for Bangor up 6-5. But Bangor retakes the lead, and then Carl Sun with a big two-run double in the seventh. Bangor wins at 10-6. That's five straight A championships for the Rams. Class A softball, unbeaten Scarborough and Oxford Hills. 1-0 Scarborough in the sixth. The tight game, but they break it open. Laura Powell, the double to right. Molly Vero scores. We have a 2 0 Red Storm lead, and this team can score in bunches. Hunter Greenleaf to center field. Bella Dickinson scores. 3 0 Scarborough. They have more offense. Emily Jeffords with the double. The bats were really going. They're up 9 0. Chloe Griffin, the two run double to left. The Red Storm score 11 in the inning to win it by mercy rule. 12 10 or 12 0. Tom Griffin's team does it again. They've won six titles in the last 12 years. It doesn't compare to anything else. It's honestly the best feeling. I'm just so proud of this team for being able to pull it off again this year. It's really something special, definitely. Undefeated Brewer taking on, well, or Greeley, that is, in the Class B softball championship up in Brewer. No score in the fourth. Senior MJ Sellers 
Good placement. Drops it right down the line. That's a triple. And Brewers in business in the scoreless game. Next batter is Rebecca Gideon. She's going to bring in Sellers with the grounder. 1-0 Brewer. And then Libby Hughes took care of business. Seven shutout innings on the mound. And Brewer is your Class B softball champion. They beat Greeley 1-0. Class B baseball game. What a game this was. Brewer taking on Wells in Bangor. Wells scored one in the first. And then they add one here in the sixth inning. Gary Andrews knocks in Tyler Bridge. It's 2-0 Wells in a pitcher's duel. Bottom of the six. Brewer's bats come alive. It's going to be Andrew Kiley coming in on the wild pitch to tie the game at two. And then they get a walk-off hit from Josiah Sear. Brewer wins a state title 3-2. to two. Haldale and Holton facing off in the Class C baseball final. Haldale up 2-1 in the sixth. Holton with the tying run on, but Patrick Rush at first base. Check out this play to get the tag on and get the out. The story of this one, though, Cole Lockhart throws a three-hitter after giving up a run in the first. Didn't give up another run. Retired 13 of the last 14 batters he faced. Alec Byron, the sure-handed shortstop, finishes it in the hole. And Haldale wins its first baseball title since 2001, 2-1 over Holton. Oh, it's so surreal. Um, I really lost the words right now. Uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, what a year it's been for us, really. Class C softball final, 19-0 Madison, 18-1 Naraguegas. Naraguegas, a three-run top of the first. Kylie Joyce gets it past the shortstop. Kirsten Kennedy scores. But Madison puts together a rally in the second. Emily Edgerly triples to right. Laura LeBlanc scores. We're tied at three. Few batters later, it's another LeBlanc. Sydney LeBlanc clears the bases with a three-run double. Madison's third title in the last five years, 7-3 over Naraguegas. For Fairfield and Richmond meeting in the D Baseball Championship game at Mansfield in Bangor. First inning, Daniel Stewart getting the friendly hop. That's going to be a single scoring Daniel, or rather, Zach Small, that is, scores, and it's 6-0 Richmond. Small was amazing on the mound. He threw a no-hitter in this one. Nate Kendrick with the RBI double the center, and Richmond takes the Class D championship 11-0 in five innings behind Small. And the Class D state softball game saw Greenville meeting Penobscot Valley. Howlers start the scoring right away. Courtney McKechnie drives one to the fence and center scoring McKechnie. Arlene McKechnie, another McKechnie scores, 1-0 Penobscot Valley. Lakers play three with two outs in the fourth. Jordan Mann drives Bianca Breton in, and Greenville picks up the 4-3 win in the Class D Softball Championship. That right there, a full day of sports on the Diamond and Lacrosse Field. More total coverage.